Hello, my name is Marvel Ann Brown with Making It Remotely. Here at Making It Remotely, we help aspiring entrepreneurs build an online business they love. So today we're going to talk about, we're going to continue our conversation about videos and why it's really important for you to not only make those over the shoulder uh, training videos or, you know, videos where you're behind the scenes, but you also need to get in front of the camera. And you can do that using your cell phone. Now, I have a cell phone that I'm using right now to shoot this video. And then I also have it on a tripod. Those are the only two pieces of equipment I'm using to make this video. Now, I do have some notes um, that I have. Um, I'm taking these notes from my blog. So if you have a blog or if you have any platform that you're using right now, to um, share content with your audience, you can just pull up that content and you can kind of share a few tidbits from that content. And you can make a one minute video, you know, and just be in front of the camera, be yourself, try to be as natural as possible and just share those few tips and hop off and that's it, right? So um, today we're gonna talk about some interesting YouTube facts and then I'm going to also show you some places that you can put your content so that you can repurpose your uh, videos. So we talked about repurposing yesterday at the end of yesterday's uh, video. And repurposing just means that you're going to shoot that video one time, that one minute video, and you're going to put it in a number of different places. So you're going to distribute that content around the internet. And that's going to give you a lot more visibility you're going to have the opportunity for more people to hear your message. And so that is how you're going to get the word out about your business. So let's take a look at these interesting YouTube facts. So YouTube has over 2.3 billion, with a B, uh, monthly active users. And that's uh, as of uh, 2022. YouTube also has 122 million daily active users. That means there are a lot of people looking at videos, um, you know, in the run of a day. Uh, roughly 5 billion videos are watched on YouTube every day. So lots of videos are being watched on YouTube. And why not have your videos out there for people to take a look at, right? So now here's some of the ways that you can um, repurpose your videos. Okay, so let me just kind of back up a little bit. There's some video types, and I want you to be clear on that as well. So uh, YouTube has uh, video shorts. And if you go out to my channel at makingitremotely.com, you're going to see a little small section of video shorts. I made these video shorts a long time ago before I made the decision to start going in front of the camera. So I have some video shorts that I made on uh, various platforms, but they don't show my face, right? But I want you to start making video shorts and you're going to see more and more video shorts on my channel as well. You can definitely use the examples that I have on my channel, but I want you to start, you know, putting your videos, your little small one minute video clips on your YouTube shorts. Okay. And then we have Instagram stories. So you can share your one minute videos on Instagram and you can make stories. Pinterest is jumping on the bandwagon. And this is the thing. So TikTok really changed up the way people are doing videos. So if you think about the YouTube shorts, um, YouTube shorts are basically um, just another version of uh, the TikTok videos. They're in the same format, that long uh, format, uh, you know, just short, quick, short videos. So people are jumping on the bandwagon with TikTok because it's so popular, right? And so YouTube is jumping on the bandwagon with shorts. Instagram has always um, enabled you to do videos, but uh, the stories are what you want to start thinking about. They're also... Instagram reels and carousels and things like that. You can certainly jump on those bandwagons as well. Pinterest has even jumped on the bandwagon with Pinterest idea pins. So you can do those. You can also use um, 
there are like some apps out there that you can use to edit your videos and it makes it really easy for you to put your videos in different formats. You can size them up, you can do the right aspect ratios and make sure that your videos are on point for a number of different platforms, even like Facebook, um, I don't know. We'll we'll check that out here in a second. But idea pins, that is another uh, way that you can reformat your video. So think about you've got video shorts on YouTube, you've got TikTok videos, you've got Pinterest videos, you've got Instagram videos, and those are some of the places where you can put your videos where they're going to get a lot more traction because these uh, platforms are giving more attention to TikTok type uh, videos. So then ways to repurpose your videos. So if you're making videos on your phone, they're already in the 9-16 aspect ratio, which makes them a good fit for a lot of different platforms. Um, you can also take those larger format videos and you can put them into a smaller format. So the same video, but just in a different format, just in a different size, in a different aspect ratio, and then upload it to different places. Um, and the tools that you might wanna think about using. So there is a tool called CapCut, and that tool is good for iPhone users and Mac users. There's also another tool called VidIO. And I'll put these, I'm going to actually refer you back to my blog to check out the article that I did on this. But there are links on my blog to these tools and some other resources that you might want to use when making your videos. Um, and then some of the other places that you might want to think about um, putting your videos include, okay, so here we go, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Reddit, Tumblr, and more. There are other places like LinkedIn, you know, if you have an audience on LinkedIn, or even if you don't have an audience on LinkedIn, you can still put, you can create an, a uh, profile on LinkedIn and put your videos there as well. So um, you think about, you know, just the idea that you have a video that shows you giving out valuable content to your audience and you know making that connection. And that's really the name of the game. So instead of having to make those long drawn out training videos, you can just make these one minute uh, videos. You can um, add things like text, you can add stickers, you can add a lot of different things to your videos to make them more interactive and you know grab attention. And that's really what you want to do as well. So I appreciate your time today. This video has gotten a little bit long. And so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. But thank you for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you on the next video.